Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do um, a bonus read for you for the November month and going into December, I guess. Um, it's a bonus read. It won't resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. Check Sun, Moon, Rising. Uh, check with another reader. Thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Continue to do so. That helps grow the channel. Uh, go ahead and click that like button for me. Okay, so let's jump into it. So we got two spreads here. Piscean woman, Piscean man. Uh, the overall energy, the four of cups. So... This is could definitely be your energy, Pisces. Um, some of you feel like you're just going to get more of the same same energy in dealing with a particular person. Maybe another Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself. You can't see what's being offered because this person might already be in something that is kind of muddied it's it's um it's mangled they may already be in a union you can't see what is being offered to you for my for some of my pisces you're in something and you're just completely discontent with it there's boredom there's just satisfaction but then for some of my pisces it's like you don't know what you really have before you 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 are failing to see what is before you because it's not wrapped in a bow in a nice uh, box you know it may be down in the mud and you have to dig for it or you have to wait for it you know so anyhow um that's the overall energy for the both of you piscean woman piscean man all right so let's get into it piscean woman this is you right where you are the princess of pentacle some of you are waiting for money you're uh, having communication about money or stability or assets or something tangible and um, something that will give you a new start so it's like messages of stability like you know you may be talking with friends or family about what to do about a money situation about a home situation lawsuit court case whatever um are you on your correct path queen of swords okay if you're not on the correct path you're definitely on your way there because the queen of swords is all about truth and clarity and getting to the bottom the root of issues she doesn't deal with the branches and the and the um the fruit of a situation she deals with the root what's the root issue so that I can then know my own truth, give my own truth, and exact truth from others. So maybe it's about you getting to a place of um, truth with yourself. Truth about self, truth about issues, truth about things you've done or didn't do. Queen of Swords. Speaking truth also. Cutting through the BS to maybe get on your right path. Um, if you feel like you're not. Or some of you may feel like you are because you're sitting in the Queen of Swords power. Uh, okay, so obstacle or what's hindering you. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this large sum of money that you are having communication about um, in the present. This money will give you opportunity to start a new something foundational. Maybe you can start your own business. You can purchase a house. You can... Yeah, make some large purchase or just start over. You have a foundational new start. That is what um, it's, it's holding you up. What What is the obstacle here? Is the money? Is the, the resources? Um, or the dividing of? Yeah. Um, what's helping you? Princess of Cups. Loving messages. Maybe from someone that absolutely adores you. Uh, friends or family this is somebody telling you you know the ooey gooey this is somebody giving you messages that um, somebody's giving you money somebody's giving you messages some of you have children um, they're involved and then you have young adult children um, 
Somebody's giving loving messages. I think this is what keeps you going. They give even even I'm hearing like inspirational messages. Because sometimes you feel so low. Some of you need to make a large purchase. And you're needing help with that. You've gone to someone to get help. Or you've gotten real truthful about money saved. Or lack of. Or credit score. Or something like that. You need to make a large purchase here. Uh, your advice here. The sun card. Nice. Some of you dealing with a Leo. This person could really be giving you it's, it's just positive altogether it's just you're kind of in a waiting you're in a holding place um the sun will shine positivity um light clarity will come to you uh the universe is shining on you uh and and um there's somebody giving you loving messages too yeah. sun and the princess of cups okay all right, so for my Leo man, this is you right where you are. No, I said Leo, sorry. Piscean man. The fairlet. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. If not, you're really, really, really trying to temper yourself, wait, have patience. You're trying to um, understand when to draw on your masculine energy, when to draw on the feminine, trying to marry the two. You're also waiting for perfect time and also you're trying to have a coming together of are you on your correct path, Pisces? Well, Alright, Ten of Pentacles. Um, something to do with family. Um, I, I can't I can't not say this uh, remember the four of cups governs the reed and then the ten of pentacles look at that that man he looks like he's there out of obligation like he may be a little bit bored with life life and then we have the four of cups someone discontent someone dissatisfied someone a little bit bored um, someone not knowing what they have so you may have family you may have an established family Piscean man but it no longer fulfills you for some particular reason you built this up 10 or more years with a, a particular somebody or situation obstacle the Lord yeah um, you being the head of the household the father figure some of you may even be grandfather, um, a business owner. This is the obstacle. A lot of people depend on you is what the obstacle is. It's just not easy for you to untangle yourself, Piscean man. It looks like you, I don't know, I'm, I'm getting a feeling that you want to untangle something, unravel. Could be dealing with an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart. Somebody with a lot of fire. Uh, what's helping the Piscean man? Well, Ten of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone feeling backstabbed and betrayed. Know that this is the ultimate ending. Know that the worst is behind you. It's over. Feel the hurt. Feel the burn. Get through it and. And then go to the Ace of Swords and start all over again. Find victory and clarity after it's such a situation. Some of you don't feel like you can provide for your family anymore. Or you feel like there's something or someone else being more masculine than you are. Maybe. Some of you ended something with uh, an Aquarius Gemini Libra or you have two families you're trying to divide time and energy effort between the two the advice is the Prince of Cups um, the Knight of Cups offer your love your emotion
in the offering it looks like my Pisces man wants to offer something elsewhere uh, but in order to do that you have to end something here you got two tens here you have to end a family dynamic or you're gonna betray someone else that you're already in something long standing with let's get three cards from my Piscean woman can you give us three cards of clarity for the Piscean woman four of pentacle and the strength card oh, two came out Wheel of fortune hangman Jesus, some of you are dealing with a Leo. Here's you, Pisces, the hangman. Um, yeah, some of you, uh, you getting money? Somebody's propping you up or holding you up. You're waiting for a large sum of money. You're trying to be strong in doing so because you know once that money comes in, the wheel starts to turn for you. Things will change. Um, you also see things in a different perspective in dealing with maybe a Leo person or a fixed sign. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, no, excuse me. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. You see something different. You see it in a different perspective in dealing with them. You're also, they're holding on to you and you're holding on to them. They're giving you money or you're giving them money. They're keeping you strong in the midst of a waiting game. You may be waiting for them, waiting on money, waiting. Something you're waiting here. And in the midst of waiting, you're, you're at the Four of Cups energy. Like, I don't know if I'm if this ever is going to happen for us. Okay. My Piscean man. We're going to clarify over at the website to see what the outcome is here for my Piscean woman dealing with... Uh, it could be anybody, air sign, Leo, another Pisces, fixed sign. I, I mean, everybody's here. Three cards of clarity for my Piscean man. Wow, the Empress. Yep, there's another woman. And she's your Empress. You have a wife. You have someone you're obligated to. Um, regulate it. You're trying to temper yourself and going back to this person. But you, you have put this person on a pedestal. They may be very attractive. They may be very seductive or be beautiful. You may have a child with them. Um, they they can maintain on their own. Page of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Wow. Um, five of Wands. Maybe dealing with a Cancerian person. You may want to give messages to this person of taking action with them, having something solid and stable with them. But the Five of Wands is here. Um. There's inner conflict of going back to. You also feel like this person has a lot of suitors. Could be a Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius. You want to go back to them and offer them something solid and stable. You used to have a family with them. You used to be their husband. You betrayed them or they betrayed you. Now you're, you're offering your cup. But you're offering your cup. I'm hearing prematurely. This person may have um, feminine issues. Uh, may have problems getting pregnant. They may want a family. 
you may tell them you want to have a family with them. You're hesitant about going backwards because you I don't think you have everything you need to have together. Yep, two of pentacles. I'm trying to weigh up two options. Also could be a love affair, business relationship that's not favorable here. You're juggling. There's something or somebody else in the mist. Okay. All right, so we're going to clarify over at the website. I hope this gave you a bit of clarity. We're going to see what the outcome is if Piscean Man decides to go back and offer Empress um, anything tangible. Um, and we're going to see what happens with uh, the Piscean woman if she waits. It looks like there's a whole bunch of waiting here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, put a comment below. Request a personal reading. Go over to the website. All information is below. Take advantage of that coupon code that pops up on the first screen. $10 off $35 or more for a reading. Take advantage of a gift card for the holidays. Um, if you purchase a gift card in $50 or more denomination, um, you will receive a free five-minute consultation with me. Um, also, if you purchase any merchandise that's below this this video you'll receive a free five minute reading with me uh, all information is over at the website send an email if you have a question if it's how do i book it's the website um thank you pisces for tuning in know that i'm praying nothing but the highest prayers for you continue to stay in prayer pray for pray for me as well take care happy holidays